Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's Big P here. You know, don't you? You know. Right, I've seen an interview with Frank Warren. He's going on about if Joshua vacates the WBO, OSEC, and Daniel DeBar will fight for the belt. Hmm. I think you're getting ahead of yourself there, Frank, aren't you? There's Joe Joyce in way yet for Dubois, and there's Derek Chisora in way for Usek, and then Anthony Joshua has got to vacate. So there's three scenarios there. And this, this is what's happening with boxing at the moment. People are getting ahead of themselves to create hype on social media. Why, why, why are we talking about Usek Dubois? There's 10 years between him in age and a vast amount of experience. I just think it's poor form from Frank Warren to be talking about fighting Usek. When U and Usek's an Eddie Earn fighter as well, so there's like four lots of obstacles to get through there. I mean, it's like saying that uh, George Foreman might come back and fight Dubai if he comes back or Lennox Lewis. It's, I mean, it's just plucking rubbish out of the sky. I mean, what are you, what are you coming out with? Sh it's, it's such a shite, Frank. What are you talking shite? You're talking baba. Usek against the bar when there's all these obstacles it way and scenarios and permutations and that I don't want to hear it this is what this is where boxing's heading now and it's starting to do my head in it's just like I've just said to you there think about it is Joshua going to give up a belt so that a Frank Warren fighter can fight for it do you think Eddie Hearn's going to allow that to happen uh -uh, utter Take precautions. There you go. Bullshit. Take record and take precautions. So Frank, please, please stop it, Frank. Stop it. Because my sides are bursting. As if that's gonna happen, Frank. You are off your rocker. Desperate people do desperate things, and I'm starting to see more of Frank Warren on social media than ever before. Ringing Eddie Earn. The interviews on YouTube have gone up 54% for Frank Warren. 54%. Go on to the analytics. Put his name in and check the analytics. So we've got 54% more interviews than Frank Warren than ever before on YouTube. And we've got him phoning Eddie Earn and waiting for this meeting and all that. That, to me, stinks of desperation. I don't know why. I don't know why, because Frank's a good boxing man. He's surrounded by good people. His brother, Bob, is it Robert? Bob, him who looks like Brick Top, he's a good boxing bloke. Is it George and Francis? They're good boxing people. Alf is going to be a, a great manager in years to come, so they all know the game, but this is out of character for Frank to do all these interviews and be putting bold statements out. Or maybe he's just been to the Eddie Hearn school of bullshit and he's decided that if you can't beat him, join him. Maybe that's what's happening because Frank, slowly but surely, is turning into Eddie. I can't get my head around it. But who cares? Peace out, I have nightmares.